Welcome to First This, a short mindfulness practice and message for any time. I'm Catherine Nikolai. Let's get settled in, okay? If you're sitting today, sit in a way that keeps your chest open and allows you to breathe deeply. And if you're lying down, maybe lay on a bolster or a long cushion under your spine to open your chest. We'll be doing some breathing exercises today, and as always, if it feels at any point like you should stop, you just will. Now, breathe in through your nose, and sigh. One more time, fill it all the way up, and let it go. We're going to revisit a way of breathing today that I think is both soothing and energizing. And not many things can do both, right? A lot of things that wake us up can also agitate us, and lots of stuff that calms us down can sort of sedate us. But this gives us a balanced dose of both. So let's spend the first minute or so just tuning into your natural breath. You don't need to change it at all, just witness it. I inhale and I'm aware that I'm inhaling. I exhale and I know it. Redirect to this as many times as needed. still paying calm attention and breathing just through the nose. Start to breathe down deep into the bottoms of your lungs. For right now, just those bottom lobes You'll know you're getting there if you feel the belly expand, maybe the bottom ribs and the back kind of flare. Right beneath your lungs, there's this dome-shaped muscle, right? Your diaphragm. And when you breathe down deep, your lungs depress the diaphragm, which in turn pushes your belly forward to make space. And when you exhale, the lungs empty, the diaphragm can puff back up, the belly withdraws. Just feel that a little longer. Now keep your breath going down deep but also start to fill your mid lungs. And you'll know you're doing that. You kind of feel your side ribs fanning open like two sets of fingers and then settling back down. Maybe some movement in your back.
It's pretty difficult to breathe this way and hunch over, but if you've somehow managed it, roll those shoulders back. Give yourself some space. When you breathe in, you hit the low lungs. You fill the mid lungs. You breathe out, you empty mid and low. And notice the pace should be comfortable. If you're straining at all, you're trying a little bit too hard. Softly, softly. Now keep the breath, low lungs, mid lungs but let's top it off by filling the very tops of your lungs, a space right under your collarbones. Inhales and exhales pretty even, but you're filling like you're filling a glass with water from the bottom all the way up to the top and it almost brims over and then when you empty you drain it dry Let's keep it going for one more minute. We are participating in a vital gas exchange, oxygenating and sending signals to the nervous system that all is well and refurbishment efforts can go forward. A simple idea to keep in your head is that in order to close out your stress cycles, to bring your body back, after a period of stress. If we do the things that we wouldn't do if we were running for our lives, like take really slow, deep diaphragmatic breaths, we are gonna send those signals that all is well. Let your breath just, like you're turning down the volume, just slowly let it fade back toward the natural breath you started with. And bring your hands together in front of you and just start to rub them back and forth. We want to build up a good bit of heat and friction here. So go pretty rapidly. Deep breath in. As you sigh, hands over eyes. And just hold them there. Feel that warmth under your hands, relaxing, soothing. You can start to use your fingertips to massage a little bit around your temples, the joint of your jaw. Now work your fingertips into your scalp like you're shampooing. It's just stimulating. We're bringing 
uh, blood flow up to the surface. It's going to help you feel like you can kind of springboard into the next part of your day. Nice. Relax, hands down. Let's get one more breath. And out. Good. 